Um, there's also a second way to do this problem. The other way to do this problem is to do this the reverse way. So you could let u be cosine of 2x instead, and then du would equal, in this case, um, derivative of cosine is negative sine 2x times the derivative of 2x is 2 in this case. Um, and then if we did it this way here, well, now I'm doing the same thing I did before. Um, oh, let's put dx here. Um, we don't have the negative 2 sine 2x in our problem, so I have to put in a negative 2 here, which means I have to multiply the outside by negative 1 half. And then if I rewrite this, I get negative 1 half the integral of um, negative 2 sine 2x dx is the same thing as du. And then this part here, the cosine 2x, cosine 2x is the same thing as u in that case. So now we can just integrate this uh, normally here. So this becomes negative 1 half u squared over 2 um, plus c. So that's going to equal negative u squared over 4 plus c. And then we substitute back in for u in this case, which is cosine 2x. So it would be cosine squared 2x with the negative in front over 4 plus c. And that would be the same answer as the last video I posted as well.